Okay, so this one's from Austin. Luke, do you have any encouraging words for those entering the software dev space? I'm a student, and due to the massive layoffs, and a multitude of my peers are worried about the stability of software dev jobs in the future. I think uh, GPT should be your bigger concern right now, actually. We have new well, that's a longer term concern. The reason why I scoffed was because I thought this was about that, not the people getting fired. So, one thing that I would say there is I have not seen massive layoffs across the entire industry. What I have seen massive layoffs in is gigantic Silicon Valley overinflated companies, which in the most part were not profitable. Some of them were. Yeah. Facebook's plenty profitable, but they're cutting anyway. So it was like, didn't Apple dump a bunch of devs? Mm. Maybe Apple didn't. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm not talking about that right now. But anyways, a large amount of companies that have software developers like us that are structured in a way where we know the costs uh, and we're profitable and all this other type of stuff. We didn't lay anyone off. We didn't even consider laying anyone off. We're trying to bring more people on. I, I'm working on onboarding uh, new team members literally right now. We had someone start last week and they're doing good. That's fantastic. I'm not looking into laying anyone off. There are lots of other companies, much bigger than us, that in some cases employ thousands of developers that are not looking into laying anyone off. Mm -hmm. It was a subset of almost entirely web-based companies. That and were, those companies get a ton of attention. That get like huge Fang attention. Fang gets a ton of attention, but actually employs a tiny fraction of the developers in the world. So that's something to remember too, is that... I hate the Fang acronym. Sorry, this really? is a, because it doesn't include all the companies. Well, well, they just keep extending it. Like Fang now has two A's in it. It doesn't even have an M. Uh, Where's Microsoft? Hold on. Okay, what are the Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google? Google. How is Netflix in there? How is Netflix still in there? The Fang acronym is terrible. <laughs> it sounds cool, and everyone knows what you're talking about. Yeah, but it just annoys me. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it, it's almost entirely like Silicon Valley web-based Fang companies. There are still development shops out there that are paying. No, it might not be as easy to get like 350K a year total comp in San Francisco out of school. But I think you're going to be fine. Um, so Apparently it's Fangman now or oh, Manga. Oh, just give up. Manga is pretty good. Fangman with two A's at the beginning and another <laughs> A at the end. Like, come like on. It. That's ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, I think you'll be fine. Uh, I would be more concerned about <laughs> AI writing code for you. Um, I would maybe get good at using that because I think that is going to be a hireable skill moving forward is being able to be a good, uh, being able to use AI as a good coding partner. Yeah, and the thing is like you need to, like the teacher needs to be better at math than the student who is submitting an assignment, right? So you're, you're still going to have a need for skilled developers, right? Um, in much the same way that, like, honestly, I'm looking at GPT-3 going, hey, we have a massive, massive writing undertaking coming ahead of us. Sorry, one sec. I have to insert. Frey in Floatplane Chat said, I've been in the industry for 23 years and I don't make 350K in total compensation and then ha 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 three times in capital letters. That's, a, that's fine. Lots of people do. Yeah. I'm not making this up. That's totally a thing. I know developers personally who have gotten 350K total comp out of school. I've had people apply here who make a mill a year and said in the interview process, I know you probably can't match this. I mostly just wanted to talk. <laughs> it's like, okay. These are compensation packages that are acquirable in Silicon Valley. Well, I'm not saying... Well, yeah, we're. I'm not saying everyone got them, and yep. a lot of times you had to work on some soul sucking stuff in order to be able to get those types of total comp. Um, that it, that is just dumb. Yeah, I'm not saying it's smart. Uh, I there's no way I would do it. I don't want to work in those positions. I don't want to work at those companies. Yeah, really funny one we've actually gotten a lot is uh, people who work for companies like that and uh, come to us saying, you know. Yeah, but like I, I make like a ton of money, but this place is like soul sucking. And I, I heard you guys have like way better work life balance, but like I want you to match my salary. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not actually how that works. If you work <laughs> yeah, 80 if you, hours yeah, a week. Yeah, if you want to work 90, 80, 90 hours a week, sure. 
um, but like that's not what we do here. So we'll be compensated accordingly. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You, I, you're I you're telling us that's not what you want to do, but you want to be paid for those hours anyway. I want to work less than half the hours I currently work, but I want to be paid the same amount. Yeah, I, I've had that genuinely many times, more than double digit amount of times. I've had that conversation. In that's why. That's why I brought it up with that's because like Luke always rants about it. He's like. Where do where do, How do you not understand get... this basic math? Like, yeah. I just, yes, you hate your job because it's horrible, and that's why they pay you so much. And you don't want to do the horrible job, but you still want to make the money. Like and a that. lot of those positions are like hyper cutthroat, and people have to be super yeah. competitive. And Jenny, this is a rabbit hole if you want to go down it. A lot of people in those positions. Hmm, this is interesting. Uh, whatever. Uh, a lot of people in those positions are medicated. Right, they're taking like they're they're microdosing. I don't want to say specific things, but stuff. Um, they're also doing stuff that isn't based around microdosing. They're like it's a huge thing. It's extremely competitive. People will go to the same lengths that people in where in sports will take steroids. It's the same type of thing. They're going to do things that are really bad for them long term, and they're going to do it to try to approach these total comp situations. It's always really funny to me when I see out this public perception that this is like a super, super toxic, hardcore Twitter 2.0 kind of like workplace. Everything we've done for the last 10 years has been to try to improve work-life balance here. Um, we are actually going the complete opposite direction that it seems a, a lot of industries are are going right now. Um, it's like, okay, I don't know. And then, right, we, we hear these like external perspectives of what, of what it's like to be other places. <laughs> so I'm sitting here going, okay, you go, you go ahead. You believe that. Yeah. Um, the, the really good ones are the ones where people will speculate about what, uh, like what an oppressive person I must be off camera. And I'm, I'm sitting here going on the one hand. Guys, you shouldn't form parasocial relationships with me. It's not it's not cool. It's not healthy. You don't actually know me as a person. Uh, but on the other hand, um, so you shouldn't assume that I'm like amazing or whatever it is that you see on camera. Also shouldn't assume. But on the true. other hand, the 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 the, <laughs> the counterpoint of that is not to assume that I literally eat babies. <laughs> you know? You should just <laughs> in both cases say all I know is what I see on camera, and probably that's not quite right. I didn't expect you to go there. Knowing, yeah, knowing, <clears throat> knowing that I'm great or knowing that I'm horrible are both equally wrong. <laughs> <sighs> Anywho. But yeah, I don't know. I, my personal I do advice... have very little tolerance for stupids. I'll admit that. My patience uh, is, is low. And is only getting lower. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> it's getting lower. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, it's, it's man. It's that probably tough. makes sense. Well, yes. like it's everything, right? Like think about it. When you met me was probably um, like the peak dealing with stupids period of my life outside of maybe like high school. Because I was working at NCIX. That's why I made it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this guy's not stupid. Maybe I'll job interview him for four hours. <laughs> we'll just like basically hang out. And then maybe I'll spend the next 10 years like, you know, working with him. That seems good. Because yeah. he's not stupid. <laughs> Love it. Um, so so that, that was probably like peak dealing with stupids. But I was like, I was young, man. I had lots of energy. I was in, man, I was in like my early to mid twenties, you know? You also, no other than, problem. Other than me, were you in a leadership position at that time? Yeah, yes. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was But my team that. was small. Okay. Yeah. Now, man, I'm getting older. I'm like always tired. I got like kids. I think There's as like well. There's like a hundred people that work here and just like the kinds of problems that I have to deal with are almost always things that I had nothing to do with up until the point that they land on my desk and I'm sitting here going, not only is the solution to this fairly obvious, but it should have been obvious at this stage, this stage, this stage, and, and this people. stage, yeah. at which point the problems would have been this size, this size, this size, and this size instead of this size. So it, it just, it wears on you. Yeah. It wears on you. Like, honestly, I, I feel like it, there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of, uh, criticism towards my handling of some issues recently, like the uh, the backpack warranty messaging and a number of other things. And uh, a lot of the response was, uh, Linus should step down as CEO. And th the truth is, I've been considering 
hiring a CEO to run the like business side of things for a long time, well before that. Um, and I don't know, like maybe I should, maybe I should. I don't think those are reasonable responses. I think that's a very average thing that the internet does where they'll see someone slip up and they'll be like, we should destroy your entire life. And it's like, oh, okay, maybe, hmm. Well, maybe maybe what happened there was wrong or bad or insert whatever word that applies, but they don't necessarily need to like completely stop their entire career because of this one mistake. Like you hear you hear like, oh, there was a decision made for a game mm -hmm. like, oh, this mechanic works in this specific way or whatever. And people will be like, the person who did that should be fired. And it's like, well, I mean, sometimes stuff is really wrong and really bad. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes that person also did a bunch of other stuff that was really good as well. Yeah. And maybe there should be someone in a managerial level level or something that is going, oh, wait, that one is bad. You made all these great things. Just get rid of that. Make a better one and we're fine and we can move forward. Like it's, it's often more involved than what people are pointing out. Anyways. Moving on. No, I don't need a PR person. Come on. You do need to read chat less. You guys wouldn't. You, you guys wouldn't even like that. You would hate that. I'd be so <laughs> boring. I've talked about this before. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I usually use Blizzard as an example. Yeah. 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 He knows. So Blizzard puts developers on stage at BlizzCon, and they are <laughs> very well known for saying things that they probably shouldn't say. But I think it's. A little bit dangerous when the community's response to that stuff is extremely heavy-handed because what does that communicate to blizzard what that communicates to blizzard is that we shouldn't put devs on stage anymore but we need to talk to devs because they're the only ones who actually know anything when it goes through legal and pr and then executive review you end up with the blandest boringest garbage i mean I, and honestly i'd stop having fun this place would suck. Oh, yeah, it would be terrible. Like, imagine if we just waited until the LTT Labs website was totally finished and we, we like, put a f***ing press release on, like, uh, I don't know, what's that, what wire or whatever, like, the like the press press wire or something. You know, oh, like, yeah, 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 whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Linus Media Group Incorporated announces the launch of the new website, lttlabs.com, which specializes in... Ew! That sucks! No, you guys don't want that. If you guys wanted that, you'd be like, I don't know, subscribe to something. I don't know, something boringer than what we do. I mean, no, none, none, of, none of that survived anyway. None of that survived, like the the the, the culling of press me uh, tech media that's taken place over the last 10, 15 years. Yeah. So no, that ain't happening. All right, what else we got? Hey, this one's from Ford. You guys have talked a lot about- Company? No, it's a dude. I'm sorry, you probably hear that a lot. Uh, you guys have talked oh, a lot- Oh, actually, wait. Oh my gosh. Sorry, let me jump in for a second. Jump no, there away. was a, there was an aside that I was going to uh, go oh, on before. tangent. Yeah, uh, the chat GPT. So I was talking about how you're still going to need expert developers. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. GPT-3 chat, sorry. Um, yeah. Anyway, you're still going to need expert developers because you talked about how people have had the, the chat, right? Like a little integration or a little bot or whatever else it is but they don't know that it's good and you certainly wouldn't roll code that you don't know is good. They don't know it's good unless someone who's actually competent reads it. And it, it will also, it. again, confidently put out things that are wrong. Exactly. So like it's... it's. So I was going to say that we've got a major project coming up that is going to need a ton of grunt work writing done for it, lttlabs.com. And I could totally see us using a tool like that to generate articles with the output of the like the notes and data that the labs generates, then it just it's basically even if all it saves you is like typing input speed so that you can just read through it, make a couple of corrections and go, OK, this is good enough because the point of that site is not reviews. So we're actually trying to figure out like what would like our data and information. Yeah, what would what would that even look like? Because a lot of people are not going to be comfortable just just ingesting graphs. Right. And that could be a great middle ground where, no, we're not going to hire an enormous team of writers to like make jokes in the articles. It's not going to be johnnyguru.com uh, back when Johnny and Oklahoma Wolf were writing for it. Anyway, I don't know if it's still going, but but like they were they were hilarious. Like they had this very both of them were hilarious in their own in their own ways. Um, 
So it's not going to be that, but it might be nice to have a digestible article version of it that you can read if you really want to. And someone if should check it. You don't just want speeds and feeds. And that's absolutely and yeah, someone still needs a to go through job. and edit. Exactly. Because you need to make sure it doesn't start talking about like random completely exactly. unrelated Exactly. And it things. could be more full-time jobs, but what it does is it dramatically increases the volume of these articles that we can generate, which is great. So it's a win is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't have to be they took our jobs. It has to be um, we can do so much more work now with the same jobs. And the the they took our job stance, um, while it could be valid in a lot of ways, is not going to win. So I would just very yeah. deeply suggest yeah. that people figure out how to exist with it and how to enhance existence with it. Uh, like make yourself more employable with it instead of less employable with it, which is doable in like every field. Because being good at it is going to be uh, very important, very important. Uh, being the person who implements its output, being the person who is trusted to edit or or proof its output or whatever is all going to be uh, important to be able to do. Absolutely. Yeah.